So this question says, which of the following expressions has a factor of x plus 2b, where b is a positive integer constant? So very important, b is a positive integer constant. Okay, so what do I know? Um, I know that x plus 2b is a factor of one of these expressions. All of my expressions in the answer choices are trinomials. I know that I can factor a trinomial into two binomials. And each of those binomials that I factor that trinomial into would be considered a factor, which means the question is giving me one of those factors. So I'm going to replace or I'm going to place x plus 2b inside my second parentheses. So as of right now, I'm using this strategy called plug in information from the question, right? The information provided was that x plus 2b is a factor, and therefore I can plug x plus 2b into this set of parentheses here as a factor. Now, what about this set of parentheses, right? What goes in the front? Well, the other information I can tell from my answer choices is that my leading coefficient, or my leading term even, has to be 3x squared. Well, how would I get that if I were to factor a trinomial into um, two binomials? I need to have a 3x here, right? I have to have a 3x. Really, there isn't any other option. If this is going to be x here, then this has to be 3x there in order to get a 3x squared as my leading term. I also need to have a positive 7 here. If this is a 2b here, which we know it is because the question tells us so, I must have a 7 here in order to get a 14b as my last term. Okay, so now, now I have quite a bit of information. I have the factored form of my trinomial with the two factors, 3x plus 7 and x plus 2b. I'm going to expand this using FOIL to see what I get. So 3x times x is 3x squared as expected. Outer times outer would be 6xb or 6bx, doesn't matter. And inner times inner would be 7x, so plus 7x. And last times last would be plus 14b. All right, so expected that, expected that. Let's see, what do we do with this middle term? So if choice A is correct, that would mean that 6xb plus 7x is equal to 7x, right? Because the middle term for choice A says 7x. Now, how is that possible? The only way that's possible is if b is zero, right? The only way that's possible is if this first term actually crosses out so that I'd have a 7x equals 7x. But the question tells me b is a positive integer. So therefore, b cannot be zero, and therefore choice A cannot be correct, right? This is how we're gonna solve the question. Now I go to choice B. So if choice B is correct, that means 6xB plus 7x must equal 28x. We'll see, I can simplify this, subtract 7x from both sides. I'd have 6xB equals 21x. I can then divide both sides by 6x in order to solve for B. And here, I'm not gonna continue doing the math. I get into a B equals 21 over six, but that also cannot be true because the question says b is a positive integer and 21 divided by 6 is not an integer. So choice b is gone for that reason. All right, let's start over and try choice c. So choice c would be 6xb plus 7x equals 42x. Subtract 7x from both sides. We have 6xb equals 30 x And once again, we can see that if I divide both sides by 6x here, right, 35 divided by 6 is not an integer, and therefore choice C is incorrect. So hopefully, choice D gets us where we want to be. Let's confirm that, just in case I made a mistake earlier. So for choice D, we'd have 6xb plus 7x equals 49x. Subtract 7x, subtract 7x. We'd have 6 x b equals 42x divide both sides by 6x and the x is cancel but also b is equal to 42 divided by 6 which is 7 so b equals 7 so there we go 7 is both positive and it is an integer so it fits exactly what the question told us we're looking for and therefore choice d is the correct answer